Stay on Trisha. You been telling my sister that I'm not your kid. Once we get this DNA back, you gonna take care of her. I'm tired. He's been denying her for her entire life. He will call me. Hi, baby. Hi, princess. What are you doing? But then he'll call my sister and say, she's not my kid. Is her real father the neighbor? Are you saying your wife was sleeping around when the two of you were married? I saw her. Oh, my God. Look, right she's here. talking to knock me, not the you there, sunshine. Why don't you just knock, knock it off the a second? Why don't I wrap this cane around your neck? He won't even visit the daughter he accepts. You haven't seen me for 10 years. You are my father. Can a DNA test make him man up? You guys exactly. are adults. Stop acting like children. She remembers being pregnant. Up to how many months? To nine months. She remembers going to the hospital. All I know is I woke up in a hospital and they told me I had a baby. But she insists she never had a baby. I will not accept Mahari until a DNA test proves that she is my daughter. Can this young mother be convinced to stop partying and start mothering? You're saying you're too young to be a mom at this stage. Right. Do you hope at the end of the day that we look at the test, DNA test, and we say, you're not the mother. You say, I told you so, I'm going back out to party. Right. Facing the DNA test. Oh. Your party days is over, baby. Stay over. Good deal. Over. It stops today. Today on Trisha. Now, this is 19-year-old April. April always believed that this man, Daryl, was her father. But, unfortunately, Daryl has never believed April could be his daughter. He admits he's alienated <coughs> April since birth and has not seen her in 10 years. <laughs> to make matters even worse, Daryl thinks April belongs to a neighbour. <laughs> April's mother, Wendy, says that that is preposterous, but... April's not sure who to believe, and she's here today to find out the truth. Let's listen to this. I know Daryl's my father from the day I was born. His name is on my birth certificate. All my life I live with Daryl constantly denying me just because I don't look like him. I am sick and tired of it. He makes me feel like an outcast. My mother said that she is 100% sure that Daryl is my dad. It makes me so angry that Daryl denies me as his child and not my sister Rebecca. What really makes me angry is Daryl has not even met my two beautiful children. They don't even know who their grandfather is. After all these years, I will finally get to prove that Daryl is my father and I am his daughter. Wow, so April, your whole life you've always been told that Daryl's your father. He is on my birth certificate. Oh, okay. My mother is 100% sure. If my mother raised me mm -hmm. and I've never seen this man before, why would I believe a stranger over my mother? Okay, that makes a lot of sense. But what is Daryl saying? Has he, what does he say to you, to your face? He will call me. Hi, baby. Hi, princess. What are you doing? But then he'll call my sister, Rebecca, and say, she's not my kid. Really? Why are you playing the fence? So hang on, she, he, he doesn't actually say that to your face, he goes behind your back to your, your sister's face. Is there any question mark over Rebecca? Rebecca, you're, you're getting teary there. Rebecca's in the audience here. Yes, what, I am. What, what, what's the matter, sweetheart? What's, what's... How can someone just deny a child like that? Like, I And he says this to you? Yes, it's like, it's horrifying. But now, he hasn't got any doubts that you're his daughter, am I no, right? No, he doesn't, and that's ridiculous. I'm sorry, but she looks like my mother and I look like my father. How is it right for him to be like, oh, she's not my daughter because, you know, she has blonde hair and blue eyes? That's it's, the whole thing, that you have blonde hair. It has nothing to do with that. Blonde hair and blue eyes. That's oh, because thing. she has blonde hair and blue eyes. He says he won't see me because I'm not his kid, right. he hasn't seen her in 10 years, and he claims her. Wow. So hang on, when, when is it last time you saw, well, we, if, if he is your father, when's the last time you saw Daryl? 10 years. So you, when he comes out here, this will be the first time in 10 years you'll have seen him? Yes. 
Now, he claims that you are... No problem about you, Rebecca, being his no. daughter. But 10 years, this is going to be the first time you see him in 10 years? Yes, in 10 years. I have not seen my father. It's like, come on. Like, you're 40-some years old. You're a grown man. Like, come on. Now, April, I understand that Daryl's whole point is that you're not his child, you are the child of some former neighbor. So why would he say this? Why would he say this? He wants an excuse not to take care of his responsibilities. Wow. I have two. I have two kids. Right, has he met his them? His grandchildren, yeah. he has never seen. Now, okay, Mom, Wendy, you're in, the, you're in the audience here. Is there any doubt that April might not be Daryl's child? No, she is Daryl's child. Now, what happens... I'm going to play devil's advocate here. What happens if the DNA test comes back and says that Daryl isn't your dad? I don't know what it will say. There is not a chance. So you, you, you don't even want to take that on board, that it might be that your mum's mistaken? There's no possible way. My mother would not lie. She would tell me the truth, so I would not embarrass myself. She loves me. She was there for me. She wants me to succeed. Why would she lie to me? OK. OK. Now, as you know, Daryl's been waiting backstage to tell his side of the story, but before we bring him out, he had a few things he wanted to say to April. April, I've never believed that you are my daughter, and I've told you to your face, I am not your father. I've had my doubts before you were even born. As the saying goes, mama's baby, daddy's maybe. I truly believe that your mother was sleeping around with a neighbor during our marriage, and you're a direct result of that betrayal. Your mother made sure that I had nothing to do with my children, especially you, because she knows I am not your father. Oh, Daryl, come on out. Hi, Daryl. Um, Daryl, April... Oh, I thought you were going towards April. No. Okay. So when's the last time you saw April? It's been about 10 years. 10 years. What about your other daughter, Rebecca? Do you see her out there in the audience? No. Well, she's out there somewhere. There. Hi, Dad. How oh. come... How come... Hey, hey, Father. How come you say that you have seen me, but you haven't seen me for 10 years? You are my father! Yeah? How come my mother has been in my life and you haven't? So, Daryl, why, why haven't you seen her for 10 years? Because they weren't made available. I would go over for my visitations. Why didn't you do the lie detector second. for that? You want to take the lie detector it. test for that? I don't that need it. That shows you're guilty. My of what? That you did not that, want that to what? see us. No, you want to take the lie detector not. test for it. So hang on, hang on. Let's find out, Daryl. You're saying you haven't seen the the girls for ten years. It, why? Maybe longer than that. What? Oh, longer than ten years. It, why? Possibly. You knew exactly where we lived. Yeah, I went over, and you made good and sure that they were unavailable when I would go over. On no. more than one occasion. Yeah, I gave to the judge and tell them, well, look, we, it's well, my weekend to I see them. I gotta them. have them. No, absolutely not. What do they do to you? You've Come got on. to let him see them. So, hang and on, that's just the a minute. You're it. saying you went you're over and you, you're saying that your former wife yep. prevented you from seeing your children. Absolutely. All right, so you've explained to us the child part. What about the adult part? Because one daughter is what? How old are you? 19. 19. How old are you? I am 21 years old. So, explain yeah. the adult part. Once they were came of age and 18, what was preventing you, mummy? I had moved. I moved out of state. Just because you moved? Are you Take freaking serious? You took a plane all the way here. Why yeah. couldn't you have taken a freaking plane to come see us? Because I don't fly. <laughs> that was it. This is the gift the every time you answer. If there's any doubt. You took a plane here. Okay, so why do you... You don't have any doubts Please. about Rebecca being your daughter. No, right. absolutely not. What are the doubts you have over April? Coming up, are you saying your wife was sleeping around when the two of you were married? For certain. I saw her. Oh, oh my God. Look, right she's here. talking to you me, not you there, sunshine. Why don't you just knock it off a second? Why don't I wrap this cane around your neck? And later, she insists she never had a baby. Do you recall being pregnant? Yes, Trisha. How, how far? How, up to how many months? to nine months. All I know is I woke up in the hospital and they told me I had a baby. I will not accept Mahari until a DNA test proves that she is my daughter.
passing the DNA test. Your party days is over, baby. Today on Trisha. I know Daryl's my father from the day I was born. His name is on my birth certificate. My mother said that she is 100% sure that Daryl is my dad. It makes me so angry that Daryl denies me as his child and not my sister Rebecca. How can someone just deny a child? I'm sorry, but she looks like my mother and I look like my father. April, I've never believed that you are my daughter and I've told you to your face, I am not your father. I've had my doubts before you were even born. As the saying goes, mama's baby, daddy's maybe. And is it true that well, you I'm think my... April looks like some neighbor? She does, she has similarities. Excuse me? You're excused. You can, you need a help, raise me! So why do you, you don't have any doubts Please. about Rebecca being your daughter? No, right? absolutely not. What are the doubts you have over April? Because at the time of conception, we weren't living together. Oh. And oh my God, yes, we were. Hang on, hang on, hang on, just a minute. You say you weren't living together? No. From about Thanksgiving to around Christmas, we weren't living together. I mean, we yes, were still married, were. but we were not together. So were so you having had... sex at all? I'm not that well good. So you weren't in, what? You weren't... No, I didn't see her. I talked to her on the phone. You didn't see her at all for at about that a month. time. Yeah. So you're saying that when they were younger, you yeah. were still around, and yeah. you turn up every other weekend, and every other weekend for how many years, five, six, seven, eight years, you're ex-partner made excuses, you didn't go to court, you didn't do anything, you didn't try to see them, you didn't peek through the school gates, you didn't do anything, you just thought, ah, you know. That's what I'm saying is I would go over to see them on my prescribed weekend. No. I would show up. No. And How many... Why did she take the lie detector test we for that thing? We were right thing? there. Right Look, she's there. talking to you me, not the you there, sunshine. Why don't you just knock it off a second? Why don't I wrap this cane around your neck? <laughs> for what, doing what I was supposed to? Yeah, what's next? Going to be accused me of not paying child support? I have got each and every receipt. Did you bring of it? When Excuse it was paid me, how many times delivered? were you in jail because of not paying child support? Oh. You, so you said you paid child support for both children? Oh, most definitely. So why would you be paying child support for a child that's not yours? You tell me. He did I've not pay child judge. support. I went without. I went without a lot well, because you need to my talk mom to that had woman a bus right there, then. Her I paid my dues. Hey, well, just, a minute, just a minute, you're saying you did pay. you damn right I paid. So why, if you had doubts she was your child, why did you not go to the court I and did. ask for a DNA test? I most certainly did. And why what did was told to me was, during the course of marriage, it is presumed that that child in conception is yours. Are you saying your wife was sleeping around when the two of you were married? For certain. You saw her? You caught her? You I saw her. Oh, what my God. What did you see? I saw me come home from work one day, right? and I got told by a friend mm -hmm. not to go through the front door, to go around the side and peek in the window. And there somebody was in a compromising position. Oh, oh please. Well, this one here you know what? was still in diapers. You, you... She couldn't even crawl, couldn't even talk yet. You so really right there think was that I'm going to do something? Long so? before I am not that this one was conceived. to do something like that in front of my children. So hang on, let me... Oh, yeah. And then some. <laughs> Let me just ask you something, Lie. okay? So you said you looked through the window and you said you caught your wife in a Absolutely. compromising Lie. position with what I'm guessing this neighbor. Yep. Okay. Um, and then the two of you were living in separate areas. Yes. Uh, but you just said you weren't even living together. At the time of her conception. This is prior to this, about a year or so beforehand. Oh, and but you seen me through Hang a window. Hang on, that couldn't be his kid then if it was a year before. That's where the doubt started, young lady. If the DNA test comes back and says you are April's father. Awesome. Is anything going to happen? Well, I've been trying to lay the foundation for a relationship how, how over the you... past year. No, you have not. You've been calls. telling my sister Rebecca that I'm not your kid. How is that no. laying a foundation? That's laying a foundation that I'm not your kid. That's so disrespectful. You need to watch that language. Daryl, April, I think you both waited long enough to find out the truth. Yep. Uh, I said, I hope she is. Are you going to apologize? Her. What's that? Are you going to apologize if the DNA test comes back that you her father? For Absolutely. You will? Absolutely. And I've told her before, proving that she is, I'll be more than happy to have her come out to my place and see exactly what we have. That's not being a father. That's not being an adult. That is being a no, child. No, that's called being responsible. No. That is being an immature child. You are How can you love something here? that's not yours? Oh. Shall we open yeah. the because envelope? Because you know their dads are yeah. Yeah. Who 
wants to open the envelope? Who do you think should? Let her. Oh, okay. I don't know what it says. What does it say? Coming up. You guys exactly. are adults. Stop acting like children. But first, she insists she never had a baby. Do you recall being pregnant? Yes, Trisha. How, how far? How, up to how many months? To nine months. All I know is I woke up in the hospital and they told me I had a baby. I will not accept Mahari until the DNA test proves that she is my daughter. on Trisha. This is 18-year-old Jemaya, and this beautiful little girl is Jemaya's one-year-old daughter, Mahari. Now, where's the problem? The problem is that Jemaya says she has no memory of giving birth to Mahari, and she's convinced that this is not her baby. In fact, she believes everyone, including her own mother, Latona, is lying to her and conspiring to drive her crazy. And she says until she sees DNA proof, Jemaya is refusing to care for this precious child. Now, before we jump to conclusions, let's listen to Jemaya's story. My mom keeps telling me that I'm the mother of a one-year-old girl named Mahari, but I do not believe her. I don't even remember giving birth to her. I do remember being pregnant, but I am positive that I lost my baby. I don't believe that I can even carry a baby to full term. I have had one miscarriage and two abortions, so why would this be the miracle baby? Mahari don't look anything like me. I think my mom is trying to really make me seem crazy. I will not accept Mahari until a DNA test proves that she is my daughter. I will not pretend to be someone's mother when I know I'm not. Someone is lying to me, and I'm here to find out the truth, once and for all, if Mahari is my daughter. So, Jemaya, let me take this through. Do you recall being pregnant? Yes, Trisha. How, how far? How, up to how many months? To nine months. To nine. But I went to the doctor, and all I know is I woke up in the hospital, and they told me I had a baby. I was drugged. They say I had a C-section. I don't remember none of that. But you, so you, what, tell me, right, the last thing you remember, you were in the doctor's surgery. Did, what, do you remember the conversation, what the doctor said All to they you? told me is that my blood pressure was high mm -hmm. and I had a lot of potassium in my urine. Wow, and that's they dangerous. was going to do emergency C-section. Then I guess they drugged me. I woke up in the hospital and they just said, here's your baby. I, how, how do I remember that? What do you think happened to your baby? I don't know. I done had a miscarriage. I don't even think my baby made it, honestly. So whose baby is this? Then? I don't know. Until I get the results in that I'm 99 yeah. percent that Mahari is mine. I don't want anything to do with her. Now, what does your what does your mom say? What does your mom say? My mom say I'm crazy and all I want to do is party, this, that, and the other. Okay, I'm young. Yes, that's what I want to do. You do want to party? Right, that's what I want to do. I'm young. I, I want to enjoy life. That's not my responsibility. I'm my own responsibility. So hang on, you're saying you're too young to be a mom at this stage. Right. So can I ask you, how come then, if you're too young to be a mom, that you said on the tape you've had two abortions and you've had one miscarriage? I mean, if you're too young to, to be a mum, why the hell didn't you take precautions? Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. You're right. My mama, she, she just keep on, like, just putting this baby on me, this, that, and other. My mom want kids so bad, I don't see if she want a, a baby that bad, start a daycare. Hang on, so just a minute. So, you think you lost your baby? Right. Is that what saying? And uh, uh, where did this baby Mahari come from? I don't know. From? I don't know. I don't remember anything. So if, I don't know where this baby came from. Could your mom have gone... That baby don't even look anything like me. Sometimes they don't. No. Some, my babies didn't It don't look. even look like the dad. Okay, so, what, your mom went into the hospital and stole a baby or something? I don't know, because my mom... It's okay, I was 17 when I had my daughter. You posed to be in the room with me when I had my C-section. Yeah. She said she wasn't in the room with me and the child father was there. I don't remember seeing nobody. All I did was woke up in the hospital yeah. and they told me that this baby was mine. I didn't even want to touch the baby. So, how old's the baby now? 
The baby will be one tomorrow. So do you look after the baby or anything like that? No, I do not. Do you hold the baby or anything like that? No, I do not. So, you want DNA proof that this baby is yours? Yes, that's when I'm going to take responsibility for Sweetheart, the girl. sweetheart, I hear what you're saying. I wish the hell you take responsibility before you got pregnant in the first time. Right. right. You're only an honor. Yeah. I'm being honest. Um, what is going to change if you, this DNA test comes back and says Mahari is your daughter? I'm going to have to step up to the plate and be a mama and stop partying. But until then, I'm not. Now, in the unlikely event that the DNA test says that you're not her mother, apart from us being on everything from uh, America's Most Wanted to every other program going, what will happen? Uh, it's going to be a lot much deeper. We're going to be on another TV show, mm. lawsuits. I'm going to find out who baby my mama have been taken care of, and if I did have a baby, where is it at? Why would you want to hunt down a baby when you don't want to be a mum anyway? Right, that's a good question. It I is a good question. Right. Have you thought all of this? Have you really thought all of this through? I hear yes. your pain. I hear what you're saying. Are you just in denial? Yes, that must be what I am. I, yeah. <laughs> now, when you look at Mahari, and she's a cute... Yeah, she's cute. cute. Girl. She's cute, but she don't look anything like me. She's adorable. She's cute. Everything about Does her. Does she look like her dad, maybe? Not to me, she don't. My mom says she do, but to me, honestly, she don't. She doesn't. No, so you ain't nobody need... gonna change my mind until I get 99% that Mahari is Jamaya's daughter. Yeah, okay, so here's the problem. I have two daughters and when they're biracial and when they were born, they didn't look anything like me. They didn't have the same skin color or anything. So you're saying I was a dumb fool to say, yes, this is my baby? No, it's everyone for themselves. So what do you hope will be the end result today? What, what do you hope? That I find out what's going on so everybody can try to stop making me seem like I'm crazy. So you're saying, in other words, you hope at the end of the day that we look at the test, DNA test, and we say, you're not the mother. You say, I told you so, I'm going back out to party. Right. <laughs> OK, she's being, you're being honest. I'm being honest. I'm going to live life. I'm going to finish okay. life. OK, well, before we meet Latona, let's listen to her side of the story. I really need to prove to my daughter, Jemaya, that she is the mother of my grandbaby, Mahari. I am tired of being the caretaker for her child. I have done my part and raised my own children. Jemiah needs to take responsibility for her own child. She needs to be a mother to her little girl. I believe Jemiah just doesn't want to be a mother so she can continue to party and drink. The whole idea of Jemiah not being Mahari's mother is nonsense. I hope the DNA test will give Jemiah the proof that she needs. My grandbaby needs her mother. Okay, let's meet Latona. Latona, come on out. Up next. You're gonna take care of that baby. I'm not. Once we get this DNA back, going back you're gonna take care of her. I'm tired. I'm tired. Okay, I'm you sick. Sick. You're taking care of somebody's baby. You don't even know who baby that is. And later. He's been denying her for her entire life. Who wants to open the envelope? Who do you think should let her? Can a DNA test make him man up? You guys exactly. are adults! Stop acting like children! You are the cop! Get off my stage! DNA test. Your party days is over, baby. Today on Trisha. My mom keeps telling me that I'm the mother of a one-year-old girl named Mahari, but I do not believe her. I don't even remember giving birth to her. I have had one miscarriage and two abortions, so why would this be the miracle baby? I will not accept Mahari until the DNA test proves that she is my daughter. I will not pretend to be someone's mother when I know I'm not. I woke up in the hospital and they just said, here's your baby. I, how, how do I remember that? What do you think happened to your baby? I don't know. I done had a miscarriage. I don't even think my baby made it, honestly. So whose baby is this? Then? I don't know. Until I get the results saying that I'm 99% yeah. that Mahari is mine, I don't want anything to do with her. I really need to prove to my daughter, Jemaya that she is the mother of my grandbaby, Mahari. I believe Jemiah just doesn't want to be a mother so she can continue to party and drink. The whole idea of Jemiah not being Mahari's mother is nonsense. OK, let's meet Latona. Latona, come on out. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
hands today. You're going to take care of that baby. I'm not. Once we get this DNA going back, going you're going to take care of her. I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Okay. I'm you sick. Say, you taking care of somebody's baby. You don't even know who baby that is. We you know. We'll know today. Yeah, we will. It's That's over. what we're here for. The okay. end is well, over. Okay. Hang on just a minute. Latona, you're, you're in tears. You're, taking, you're not well. You're, your health is not good. I understand your husband's health is very poor as well. Yes, it is. He just had a stroke. Oh, Lord. <laughs> And your health isn't good. No. And you what do you do for the baby? Everything. Everything? Everything. Meanwhile, what is Jemiah doing? Nothing. Get my hiry, mama. Get my hiry, mama. And do you still live at home? Yes. yes. Do you know, I'm so If you were my daughter, I know my kids are sitting at home saying, if she was my daughter, I'd say, you go out that door, it locks behind you. <laughs> You wouldn't like me as a mum. You wouldn't like me as a mum. In our house, we have doors. We don't have turnstiles. So, could this baby not be hers? Is there any chance? I'll yes. Be, no, it's not. Yes. I guess yes. that baby she don't looks know. just like she the daddy. She don't know until you read the results. And look just like my older The daughter. baby do not so, know. Look, let's go through what happened that day. What happened that she day? She don't remember. She said she wasn't in the room when I had the baby. They she called. don't know. And said to come to the hospital. Oh, they so called. I thought I was at the. I thought I was at the doctor. Because no, they her called. Blood pressure right. Was she so don't high. know what happened. Right. She probably crazy. Let's hear. Let's hear. Let's hear. Let's hear. Let's hear. Let's hear. He said your your body is filled with potassium. We got to do emergency C-section. So did she pass out or was she put under? With That's drugs? what he thought. He said you haven't passed out or nothing. And she's like, no. They drugged so, me. So did they give her her as far as drugs? I'm concerned, they drugged. They gave her epidural, but I didn't want her to have epidural because How she got stoniosis. How would you know they gave you epidural if you wasn't in the C-section room? Because that's say what you Rico? said. Right. Oh, that's what I said. I was drugged. I don't remember none of that. So, yeah, so they gave her a, a, epidural. an epidural. A, a full one or a partial one? Was she conscious when the baby was born? She wasn't in the room, so I she can't tell there. you what happened. You didn't, so it, it's the that, daddy went back there. So are you suspicious? because you're I'm not, trying to figure out what's going on. All I know what is What did I your boyfriend say, the, the daddy? Was he, he, he said I'm crazy, too. He was in the room. That's what she said. I don't know. I don't believe nobody. So I'm, hang on, your boyfriend said he was in the room and saw the baby born and you think he made that up, why? Yep. Because I was drugged, I don't believe none of that. I'm not gonna believe it until I see the results. How do you, how do you, Latona? Yes. How do you deal with this? Oh, it's a trip. It's, it's a something. trip? Yeah. Does it make you feel that your daughter's just in denial? Okay, I, she, she had, a, to she had an appointment crazy. to go to she get... She won't kill so bad. Shut up and let me talk. She was supposed to go get a test for postpartum disease. Yeah. She called and canceled the test. It don't matter. It don't matter. She just got her checkup for when she had the baby. For like, years. It ago. don't for, matter. Well, what do you, 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 don't know, you don't know. Excuse me. What Tuesday. Are you, can I, what, are, what are you studying? I'm studying nursing. I'm, oh, good I work God. at a group home. Oh, good God. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, she's trying to make it seem like I'm crazy. I graduated high school with a 3.6. I'm not crazy. Listen, I'm in my there's, right a, mind. there's a lot of very intelligent people yeah. out there who are just right. plain dumb. Okay, right. well, I'm not playing dumb. Right. What I'm, I'm saying is, yeah. we're going to find out today. Okay. What are you saying? Yes. We're going to find out today. The first thing, the you're going to be really pissed with your patients if they don't look after themselves after all your hard work and they go and mess it up. What I'm saying is, you wait a year to have your postpartum check. You could have some part of your. Uh, she was supposed to have been on high blood pressure pills. She didn't take them. She had. So, how, how, how are you going to take no medicine she, if I don't want to? She's anemic. She don't take her iron pills. Okay, okay. She don't, don't do nothing. Matter. You so, just take your medicine. No, so hang on. Well, I'm going to take I'm my confused. medicine. That's why I'm 53. Hang on. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. It look here. good. Hang, just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> nah. To my. Here's why I'm confused. At nursing school, you're going to have to tell other people to take their medicine. Am I right? Right. How the hell can you tell other people to take their medicine and take care of themselves when you ain't doing it yourself? You yeah. right. Uh, now, Latona, if the DNA test comes back and says that Jemiah is Mahari's mother, what do you want to change? What she you... she gonna have to step up to the plate because I'm tired. Yeah. Until I read and the I'm sick. until I read yeah, the results, you're... I'm gonna stick with my mom. How how are you? What gonna... I think. How are you? And if I'm that? not the mom, it's Friday. I'm going out tonight and I'm partying. Oh, is oh yeah, I am. I bet you. Tomorrow's her birthday. Huh? 
Tomorrow's the baby's birthday. She'll be one. Hang on, just a minute. Her baby's one today. She'll be one tomorrow. One tomorrow, and you still go out and party? Yeah, I'm going to go out and party. So, if I'm not the mom. If you are the mom, then what? I'm still going to go out and party. No, yeah. Well, that's a lie. She, she, she's going to enjoy no, herself not. tomorrow. No, Because tomorrow is her birthday party. Okay, well. I'm still saying, I would say, if you were my, my daughter, ass. I would say, you go out there, sweetheart. You have the party of your life because you ain't coming back in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right? I'm telling you, I don't know what the DNA tests, but a word of advice if you think for a moment that you don't want that baby, do yourself a favor. Get adoption papers. There are people out there who yeah. would yeah. kill yeah. Right? Have her adopted out. Okay. Is that something that... Because it, I don't know what the DNA test co says, but if it comes back that she, she's your little girl, are you willing? Are you... Yes, I'm going to have to take her if, if I find out that she's mine, but I do not think she's mine. So... I, I might have a baby. They might have they might have switched me babies. I don't know what's going on. Don't nobody in the crowd know what's going on. Don't nobody know what's going on. All right, so let's find out what's going please, on. Please, please. So... These are the results of the DNA test. Hello. Do you want to have a look? Do you want me to open it? Who do you want to open it? Mom want to open it? No, let her open it. Smarty. Yeah. The party girl. Party girl. Party girl. And I want you to read it out, please. Up next, can this young mother be convinced to stop partying and start mothering? Are you going to raise her because you have to raise her or because you want to raise her or now you're trapped into her? And later. You guys exactly. are adults. Stop acting like children. on Trisha. My mom keeps telling me that I'm the mother of a one-year-old girl named Mahari, but I do not believe her. I don't even remember giving birth to her. I will not accept Mahari until a DNA test proves that she is my daughter. I really need to prove to my daughter, Jemiah, that she is the mother of my grandbaby, Mahari. I believe Jemiah just doesn't want to be a mother so she can continue to party and drink. Could this baby not be hers? Is there any chance? Okay. Yes. No, it's not. If the DNA test comes back and says that Jemiah is Mahari's mother, what do you want to change? She know I have to step up to the plate because I'm tired. How are you and if I'm that? not the mom, it's Friday, I'm going out tonight, and I'm hard. These are the results of the DNA test. Hello. Do you want to have a look? Do you want me to open it? Who do you want to open it? Mom want to open it? No, let her open it. Smarty. Yeah. The party girl. Party girl. Party girl. And I want you to read it out, please. Jemiah, that is your daughter. Uh-huh. Your party days is over, baby. Stay over. Good deal. Over. It stops today. I'm tired. Ah. Uh, wanna cry? Okay. Now you know. So you hang on, Jemiah. Jemiah, here's the. Here's the deal. Either you've been in denial the whole time and you've been running this line because you've been allowed to get away with it and have another life with this baby, sweetheart, or the other thing, other possibility, is that you have some real deep-rooted mental health problem that you need assistance with. You hear what I'm saying? Hmm. Sweetheart, come here. Let me give you a tissue. Bravo. Aren't you glad you know now? No, she's not. She's not. If you really don't want to be that little girl's mother and your mom can no longer look after her and you come to a decision, then you need to get adoption underway while she's young very, very quickly. Yeah. Hey, Daddy, you going to raise her. Are Thank you going to raise her? Hmm. Are you going to raise her? I did not raise you and your brother and your sister. Okay, dear. Are you going to raise her because you have to raise her or because you want to raise her or now you're trapped into raising her? 
I suspect it's the trapped into raising her. And for God's sake, start taking precautions or don't have sex. Make, make up your mind, OK? Because I don't want you back on the show each time. Right. Do you want to see that? Do you want to see your daughter? Your daughter. <laughs> OK. All right. Well, we'll do that in just a moment. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> Just woke up. Oh, we, yeah. Hello. Even though, you know, it takes a while to, to interact, and that's why I say, you know, there are many mother and daughter charities and what have you who can, who can assist you now. Up next, you've been denying her for her entire life. Who wants to open the envelope? Who do you think should? Let her. Can a DNA test make him man up? You guys hey, are dying. Stop acting like children. <laughs> Facing the DNA test. Your party days is over, baby. Today on Trisha. I know Daryl's my father from the day I was born. His name is on my birth certificate. My mother said that she is 100% sure that Daryl is my dad. April, I've never believed that you are my daughter, and I've told you to your face, I am not your father. What are the doubts you have over April? Because at the time of conception, we weren't living together. Just we were right thing. there. Look, right she's here. talking to you me, not the you there, sunshine. Why don't you just not knock it off a second? Why don't I wrap this cane around your neck? Yeah. Are you saying your wife was sleeping around when the two of you were married? For certain. You saw her? You caught her? You caught her? I saw her. That's not being a father. That's not being an adult. That is being a no, child. No, that's called being responsible. Shall we yeah. open the because envelope? Because their dads are yeah. Please. 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 Who wants to open the envelope? Who do you think should? Let her. Oh, OK. I don't know what it says. What does it say? You are the father! <laughs> and be a father, and it's time for and you happy, to yeah. accept it as this, OK? That's all there is to it. You guys exactly. are adults. Stop acting like children. I mean, this question has been answered for exactly. 19 years. All right. So That's all. Daryl. It's so ridiculous. OK, hang on, hang on, Rebecca. Right. Hang on, Rebecca, just a minute. So, Daryl, what do you want to say? I'm sorry mm -hmm. for making accusations that weren't true. I truly apologize for that. Right. Do you want to meet these grandchildren of yours? Are I'd they going to see, see you once and never see you again? You can bring them I now. would like to say no. Sorry? I said I would like to say no, but I cannot predict the future. Oh, come on, Gary. Daryl, can I, can I be really honest with you? Please. You are really full of <laughs> aren't you? No. <laughs> can you predict the future? I think, no, I know, yeah, yeah, you're playing a game. You're playing a game. Exactly. And here's the thing, here's the thing. These little children are, how old are they? The, Bailey, the girl, yeah, she'll be two in March. And Brayden, <laughs> the boy, he's eight months. So they're really tiny. Yeah, so really, you, you can play all the games you want, but if you do want to have, a, either you have a relationship with them or you don't, yeah, but exactly. you don't, don't play games with them. Either a granddad rings every other weekend and you stick to it, or else you just forget about it and send Christmas cards, birthday cards, and forget about it. Can we, if we, if, if we Yeah, do... you can bring them out. Yeah, let's. Right over there. Okay. Yeah. Do you want help, April? Ah, long time. <laughs> Daryl, you look like you're in shock. It's just been a long time since so I had a little one in my hands. Yeah. Are you going to be in their lives or not? Yeah, that's why I, I really we've went down this road to find out, then go from there. Oh, Mimi! <laughs> Mimi! Mimi's baby! Uh, watch yes. the step, watch the step. Woo! Yes, it's in uh, she is her grandmother. Well, oh, I guess so. I haven't yes. seen them. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, it takes time and it takes constant, you know, yeah. being in contact to build up a relationship, and I really hope you can do that. Okay, so let's take a break. We'll be back. We'll be back after this. Facing the DNA test. Your party days is over, baby. Today on Trisha.
Okay, let me just say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to contact us on the show, get, get in touch via our Facebook page because we'd love to have your feedback. We'd love to hear your stories. And I'll see you again real soon. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>